Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will create a video wherein we will talk about algebra and the focus is all about the exponents. So this is our main problem, but actually, I have two different problems for this video. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Let's do this topic. So what we have here are two given examples wherein they are almost the same. Same rule ang i-apply natin. So let's start with number one. We have x raised to 7, y raised to 3, x squared over x squared, y raised to the power 4. So many of, of the students uh, will see this dif as a difficult problem, but this one is quite easy problem. Ang nagpapahirap dito sa tingin ko ay yung exponents and yung exponents ng variables. So let's start with item number 1. First, before applying this exponent, the outside exponent, we need to simplify first the inside part of the parentheses. You will apply the quotient rule for each variable. So for the quotient rule, guys, what you need to do is you will subtract the exponents of the variables of the same variables. So let's start with letter x or the variable x. In letter x, you will copy first the variable. Then you will subtract the exponents from the numerator up to the denominator. That is simply... 7 minus 2. Next, for the variable y, copy the variable y, then subtract the exponent. We have 3 minus, we have your invisible 1, so 3 minus 1, and then don't forget to enclose it by the original exponent outside. Simplify, we have x raised to 5, then y raised to 2. And then enclose it by parentheses and then put your exponent. So what will happen here, guys, in this rule, you have to use the power of power. What will happen is that this outside exponent will be multiplied by the exponents of the, in the variable inside. So you will distribute it like this one. x raised to 5 times 4. Then y raised to 2 times 4. What I'm showing you is the step-by-step -step process para hindi kayo malito. So we have your x raised to 5 times 4, which is 20. Then your y, which is 2 times 4, which is equal to 8. And this is now the simplified form of this given expression. You have x raised to 20, y raised to 8. So let's continue with item number 2. For number 2, um, the difference in number 2 and number 1 is that it has the coefficient of 8 and 2. But don't worry, this one is not that difficult. First, we will simplify the, the numbers. 8 over 2 or 8 divided by 2 is 4. For the variable, we have here the invisible 1. Copy the variable x. Subtract exponents. 5 minus 1. For the variable n, Copy the variable n, subtract the exponents, that is 7 minus 5. And close it by parentheses and then copy your original exponent outside. Here, copy your 4, then x raised to 4, n raised to 2, then enclose it by 3. Same process, okay? You will multiply this exponent here outside in the exponents inside. In 4, we have your origi originally 1. So that is 4. Direct na 4 times 1 times 3 is 3. So the exponent of 4 is 3. So let me erase this one. We have 4 raised to 3. For the variable x, 4 times 3 is 12, so x raised to 12. For the variable y, uh, for the variable n, 2 times 3 is 6. Now, we're not yet done because we need to simplify this part. Your 4, your 4 raised to 3 is the same as 4 times 4 times 4. You need to write it 3 times because the exponent is 3. So that is... 64 
can copy this x squared x raised to 12 and raised to 6 and this is now the correct answer so I hope guys learned something from this video so I have tried to explain it step by step process and sana na appreciate your ating video so if you're new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads again it's me teacher gone marami marami salamat bye bye